Hi everyone, welcome back to One Veg at a Time. I have Ali Eisman today, award-winning actress, producer, director. No, writer, not director. Oh, writer. <laughs> I leave the directing to the directors. Okay. Better that way. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're here to show us how to make a almond cashew milk. Yes. Yeah, so why the combination? Because when you merge things that are different, you get better results. Uh, and you can take all the social commentary and context you want from that. Um, no, honestly, like when when I heard that you were kind of you're you're a shiny new vegan. Look at her, she's glowing. She's like brand new vegan. Um, these are some of my favorite recipes to teach people who are maybe curious about it or new to it. Because when you have a basic nut milk recipe, which is one of the main reasons I became vegan, so that I can say like nut milk and nut cheese all the time. <laughs> you it's like fun. the word nut? It's just, it's, 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 it's common. Um, and then you have a good basic um, nut uh, cream sauce. You can go so many different ways. So okay. you've got your milk, you can make creamer with that. You can add it to soup for like a cream of something. Oh. And when you're mixing different nuts, like you, you can start with just almonds um, for okay. a pure almond experience. But I've just found personally, I love the flavor profile when you mix a little roasted cashews or even raw cashews, which is what we have today, um, it just, it adds a little more creamy texture to it. It's just a little, a little thicker. The cashews in general add yeah. creaminess. Yeah. The cashews are a okay. great base for cheese, creams, milks, just, and then throwing in other nuts for flavor profiles. And then for the cheese, we're going to use um, macadamia nuts oh, and geez. Brazil nuts because they have kind of a, this is not a science word, like a cheesier, nuttier it's, it's texture and flavor. It's flavor. Yeah, the flavor. There's something about it that just, that's why I say it's an Alfredo. It has, mm. when you mix it with a little bit of nutritional yeast and the, the seasonings we're going to go through too. Oh, right. We got a two for one okay. today. We are getting two cheese recipes. Oh, they're, they're just so easy and home. fun. Well, what, what made you want to mix the like two different nuts? Cause well, just through experimentation, honestly, like a little experimentation is healthy um, with food and anything. Um, so I started with almonds right. and, and then there's just, I just, love all kinds of nuts so I started mixing in Brazil nuts and cashews and just found that the almond equal parts almonds and equal parts cashews was just my favorite go-to all-purpose milk for you know, tea coffee uh, we just had an earthquake sorry about that um, <laughs> we're fine <laughs> no, uh, we just shook a lot off yeah we're vegan so we <laughs> kind of hover over it we don't actually need grab them. it's great um so yeah I'll just start taking you through it just so um we can go okay yeah sure, out of let's so do it anymore <laughs> washing my hands and <laughs> Um, okay, so right here, my, my basic ratio for any nut milk is you're going to want one part nut to four parts water. So we've got a half cup of soaked almonds and a half cup of soaked cashews. And the reason you soak them is because you're getting rid of the enzyme inhibitors, which means you're going to get more of the nutritional value from the nuts. So they're going to be easier to digest okay. and, and all that. So harder nuts like almonds or, or like these Brazil nuts. You're gonna to wanna to soak those overnight, good, you know, eight to 12 hours. But when you have softer ones like the macadamia nuts or the cashews, those only need like two to three hours of soaking. Oh, wow, okay. So we're gonna throw it. Kind of excited to see eat the nuts, so I don't know. You're allowed to sample. It is, I will, <laughs> not, I will not be upset. So let's put about four cups of water in here. You're in the splash zone. Sure. Um, all right. And then a little. Three yes. We That's got three, we'll have a creamier milk. I'm gonna have a little extra here because oh. it's going to get cheese. Okay. I'm taking risks. I'm taking All risks. Right. That's crazy. Yeah. I All sure right. do. So we've got four ish cups of water. <laughs> half a cup of almonds going in there. And these have already been pre soaked. And we've got a half cup of cashews. Um, and I like to throw in a few soaked dates. Oh. Um, I say, you know, at the base, if you don't want sweetness really, maybe one date to four cups of water. but you know, it's a celebration today, so okay, we're like doing this. four dates in here. So it's like one date per cup of water, basically. Okay. And if you're making a creamer, you can add a little bit more for a little sweetness. And then I like to add just a little dash, that is a real measurement, a dash of vanilla. Okay, so vanilla. I'm just going to even out the profile. For flavoring also? Yeah, just flavor on it. And then the fun part, where we assume that the electricity works. <laughs> oh, of course it works. So I'm using a very high-powered blender, and yes. I, I really recommend, it doesn't have to be 
Vitamix, but I love my Vitamix. <laughs> Hashtag Vitamix. <laughs> Hashtag Vitamix. Um, but you definitely want a really high powered blender just because it really um, pulverizes the nuts and, and you get more out of them. Basically. Okay. You're not going to be having like a chunky like leftover. All right. Smooth. Yeah. You're still going to strain it. You're just going to, it's going to like just pulverize them more. So All right. Let's see. More. All right. I'm here we go. You. Are you ready? All right. To get nut milking. What? Am I ready? Okay. Pop. It works. hearing all the chunks flying around. I don't know, I couldn't hear. I was so focused on dancing. <laughs> that was some pretty hardcore dancing that was just happening. But look how beautiful that is. Ooh. That's raw big gorgeous milk. And then honestly, you can drink it like this. It's just, it's gonna be kind of like pulpy, which, you know, is not a bad thing. But if you want that pure, you know, no no floating pieces. Smooth. Yeah. You get this. Yeah, let me move these out. Thank you right. so much. I'll go down the stairs now. Yes, yeah, could you get to the, uh, the basement? <laughs> Get those cups out of here. Okay. So this right here is a nut milk bag. Again, the vocabulary when you're making nut milk is just very mature oh. and adult. Okay. Yeah, that's it. that would have been cool if I had okay. a <laughs> Thank I know you. I've seen this done before. So yeah, you just pour it right through there, and you're just gonna it's gonna strain, and then after it's done doing it naturally, you just start. Milking it, basically. <laughs> milking it. You start straining it. Okay, milking it. Yeah, so you can use the little drawstring there oh. if you want to, just make sure nothing escapes. Okay, all right. More attractive than an udder, yes? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, for sure. And then you just squeeze? Yeah, and you just keep going. I mean, I get... I like I'm to sure make the most out of it. The it. whole thing. No, no, you got the fun part. Please, go to town. <laughs> Yeah, and you can see it's nice oh, wow. and like a great color and that okay. there's going to be some splashing, but that's okay. All right. And then if you're wanting to do more of like a coffee creamer, you just cut the water in half basically. So you do one part um, nut to two parts water instead of four parts. And you can play with that ratio depending on how thick you want your creamer. Add more dates, less dates. Okay. It's kind of up to you. I and wouldn't have thought to use this as a creamer. Exactly. You can definitely. Okay. I don't... You can do this. I don't know what you're doing. Okay. You're doing everything right. Okay. All That's right. the part. You get to play with your hands. That's the best kind of food is when you're in there with your hands. And, and you get dirty. Exactly. <laughs> get all up in there. That's why you like. Maybe. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay. And you can get really creative, too, because you can add, like, you know, maybe with your vanilla, you throw a little matcha powder in or some turmeric or something like that. You can really add a bunch of different flavors and just get really creative once oh you have goodness. your hand all like a, a really lot. basic. Exactly. I mean, this is going to make you about four cups of milk. Now, you're going to want to drink it within, I'd say, four or five days. Okay. So, you know, make okay. enough that that makes sense for you. How long do I have to do this for? I mean, like, <laughs> how much milk do you want out of it? I don't but know. I get, I'll like it, like, maybe... It's like a little ball. This little ball. Oh. <laughs> like okay, well, I'll be here for okay. a while. So why Time don't you... Time um... lapse. I can start on the cheese layer. No, <laughs> I wanted to ask you. Uh -huh. So you, um, did you have to learn how to ride a horse or did you um, already know? So she's referring to it. I just uh, appeared in an episode of NCIS Los Angeles. Yes. And I played a horseback rider, which is, I'm sure many of you viewing know, is not a vegan activity. Now, I grew up... <laughs> It's tight. You're utilizing animals for your own entertainment. And your oh, own okay, okay. And I didn't, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I didn't even know I've been riding since I was eight years old. I worked in a barn. I just, I grew up with that. And and horses okay. were so, horses were my best friends in a lot of ways growing up. They helped me through some really hard times when I was a kid. They're so healing. Like it was, it was a huge part of my childhood. And I hadn't even thought about that. I've been vegan for 12 years, and I just. I don't know what it was. I just never made the connection until someone brought it up to me. Unfortunately, not in a very compassionate way, but they brought it to my attention and it made me think. Uh, starting about two years ago, and I haven't ridden since. I've been really debating, okay. like internally. Well, are you? If they're your friends, can you not like? As far as the horses? Yeah. Well, it comes down to. And not as a sport. 
they're not they're not really giving me their permission. I okay. I worked and uh, was an assistant to train horses and teach people how to ride. And a process called breaking is how you take a wild animal to be a domestic animal, and it's called breaking because you break their spirit. And it's it's not abusive. It's not like that level of things, but it is not of their own free will. They don't speak human language. They don't. You know, they, we can communicate with them based on languages we teach them. So that we can exchange like oh i need this and they can satisfy that i have trained in a lot of natural horsemanship which is the most um <laughs> i guess vegan friendly kind okay. of horse riding and school of thought but it's it, it comes down to if if they didn't have to be there i'm sure for they the don't. most part they wouldn't they're they're wild animals even horses born into captivity they don't know anything else and um, I don't know. I don't want somebody riding my back. Well, I do give mm -hmm. piggybacks to some friends, but that's a different. I can give them consent. The horses can't right. give me consent. Right. They, okay. they, they deal with it. But um, so yeah. So I've been really sitting with that, and then this opportunity came up to do this show, and I really had to sit with it. And I chose to do it because the well, first it was offered to me, and I was appreciative. But the thing is, with these network shows, like the episode was going to happen, that role was going to happen. Somebody Regardless. was going to be on that horse, right. and so I felt that if it, at least if it was me, I knew that the person on that horse would be treating him with the utmost respect and dignity and care. Because just because you can ride doesn't mean you treat animals well, right? Unfortunately, um, so I was lucky enough to receive the offer for the for the job, that's and I took it. That's so good. That's amazing. And now we and, can talk about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it aired. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know, and we can talk about the issue, because like I said, I didn't even know. Yeah, so I, I wouldn't have thought, thought of that. Yeah. Oh. And mm -hmm. so I think it's important that we have these conversations that we realize that we're all at where we're at on our journey of compassion, of awareness, of all of it. Like, every point on that journey is valid, so we have to approach. I would recommend that we approach it with compassion and acceptance. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you have to that because I, yeah, like, I can say it again, I wouldn't have thought that. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I now am yeah. understanding of that. And look, at, and look how much progress I've okay, made all the time. I'm getting a workout for See, that's another sure. advantage. You get a great conversation when you're milking that. Yeah. <laughs> Partner activity. <laughs> I feel like it's just going on and on. Well, here we can, um, oh, wait, did we move all the bowls? Oh, yeah, I put them down oh, okay, in the right. basement. I'll be right back. <laughs> you can be right back. Oh, oh, the elevator, it was faster. Um, all right. Is so that good, that you think? Or would you get fine. more? I mean, you would get I'd more. get more, but we got time okay. limitations. It's so all right. Pour this That's respectable. In. You can just lay it in there because we're not going to oh, need we're that not bag again. Okay. So what you have in here now is, is pulp, basically. The nut pulp is left over. Yeah, you can show people that. Definitely didn't promise this wasn't messy, so. Okay. Yeah, no, you didn't warn me <laughs> at all. I didn't. It's more fun. Than <laughs> so you can use nut pulp. It's great. You can freeze it. Um, you can dehydrate it and use it in like baking recipes and stuff like that. It's not exactly like almond flour because it's been defatted. So that's basically what you got in here. Okay. But it's great to like throw into brownies or like I've made bread oh. with it before. Oh, oh nice. Really, really oh, like banana nut bread maybe. Mm -hmm. oh. Or like almond. Pecan. Oh, now I'm just off in Wonderland chocolate. <laughs> Let me see where you're going. <laughs> well, here, let's go. Uh, okay, yeah, sample? what are we going to do with it? Oh, sample it. I think that's the fun part, right? Where's the cup? Well, yeah. we have receptacles somewhere. Oh, yes, I put them okay. in the basement. There we go. There we go. We reuse cups here. <laughs> <laughs> Our party cup. Oh, I'm going to pour that so you can see it. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I'm a heavy pourer. Okay. I'm really shocked and amazed. I don't know. How easy is that, though, no, right? Very easy. Like, well, the oh, taste well, test. test. While we, uh, oh, we should, celebrate. we should celebrate. There's something to celebrate, you guys. So, Allie just reached a high mega 10,000 <laughs> followers on Instagram. I'm in the K's. It what? says 10K now. It makes me feel valued. No, truly though, it's, it means I'm so grateful for my community. People are actually like exchanging with me. It's a wonderful way for me to talk to you guys, answer questions, receive inspiration, give inspiration. Like, thank you. <laughs> I, I actually do run my Instagram, so I love I love the communication. The feedback and yeah. the interaction and everybody. Oh, that's so amazing. Oh, so we shall cheers to that. 10,000 more. 10,000 more. You heard her. 
I think you got mm. it. Oh yeah. Ah. Oh, that came out. I love this. Oh, I can drink this all day. Oh yeah. You see the like mm. sweetness a little bit? Yeah. You can do less with like if you just do less dates or some people like it sweeter. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, it's really good. I can't taste the difference in the the nut though. Well, that's it. It's blend. That's, yeah. It's basically like the if you make a you know next time you try this at home. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, yes. Just do almonds and then you kind of have the. It's more of a to me a texture. If we used roasted cashews, you'd have more of a flavor difference. And that that sounds super good. good. As well, this is also. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, so we're gonna quickly move on. We have our we'll beverage. Move these get to the side. Yeah, we'll have some more. Yeah. So, like I said, milk, one cup nuts, so about four cups water. Creamer, one cup nuts, so maybe like two cups water. Cheese sauce, I'd say about even. You want one cup to one cup, and then you can play with adding some more if you want like a more milkier sauce or something like that. Okay. And the fun part, well, I'll tell you the fun part after. Oh, yes. After. All right, we got our, our water. We got like a three fourth cup water here. Oh my god, it's like exactly a cup. Oh. Wow, nailed it. Okay. And then we've got a half cup of uh, macadamia nuts here and a half cup of Brazil nuts. And this is how I like to make my Alfredo. Oh, yeah. Now I'm excited as if I wasn't already. What? Same basic principle. So there's our nuts and our water, and then the seasonings I like to use are, uh, hoping they're all came before, yes, gar garlic powder, little onion salt, black pepper, splash of lemon, and this is actual just lemon extract, lemon juice, and then nutritional yeast. And our nutritional yes. yeast. The street name, Nooz. N-O-O-Z, which I think is adorable. Nooz? Yeah, I never heard that. No. You know, get your Nooz. Um, well, I have, no, why is that? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> I'm now on the street and I can yep. say news. News. And you'll be hip. Like, oh, she's a hip vegan. She's news. What's up? <laughs> What's up in the news? All I'm right. I'm going to hang out with her. <laughs> <some more. laughs> so while I remembered all of these amazing ingredients, I did not remember measuring cups <laughs> or spoons. So we're going to wing it. <laughs> yeah, that's great. But that's the best part about this. I mean, honestly, like, because you can play with the amounts. You can, you know, find the flavor balances that you prefer and you can mix it. I would definitely say the heaviest seasoning I'm going to use would be nutritional yeast because it really adds that kind of cheesy okay. element to it. I really just want a splash of the lemon juice just to have that little bit of tartness like you'll find in an Alfredo. And sometimes I throw in some parsley, but uh, I didn't grab any. So I'm not gonna do that. That's all right. So we, we have an Black alternative pepper. ingredient that we can yeah. use. Exactly. And you can use fresh garlic instead of um, garlic powder as well. It's just going to be a lot more pungent. Okay. And that's just the general rule. And, of and onion too? Or? Um, yeah, I do an onion salt. Okay. So it has, like, you can just do plain salt as well. I just like the kind of balance that garlic and onion. Oh, yeah. Have. Especially with the salt. I, I find that the salt brings the flavor out of the garlic for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And you've done this a hundred times, so you know that you're normally, you know the ingredient yes. kind of. Well, and I tend to, as I'm cooking, I'll, I'll taste and I'll move, but that's not hygienic, so we're just going <laughs> to wing it. <laughs> you're not making it for yourself. No, no, I'm selfish okay. in the kitchen. I'm just cooking for me. All right, now the fun part again. Are you ready? On your mark. Get set. Come. Let's bring it up. Come back. Oh, vegan foodie. It's a term I've coined. All right, look at that. Oh my god. So the difference here is with the cheese sauce, you don't need to strain anything. It's okay. Right in the there. chunks are good. Yeah, I mean, you can honestly, like, fresh veggies, use it as a dip if you want. Mm. But it's nice and thick. You can pour this over pasta. You can stuff shells with it. And obviously, same thing. You can add a little less water if you want it even thicker. If you want to make like a spreadable cheese, like you know something for crackers, okay, you would pour this into cheesecloth and basically let it hang over a bowl overnight, or you can set it in a, a strainer over a bowl 
so that it basically all the moisture is just going to seep out of it overnight and you'll be left with more of like a not a cream cheese but a spreadable cheese so oh, okay. instead of having to milk it i kind of <laughs> just let it sit for a oh, few no. hours oh no not the milk you want the pressure because you're really getting it out of there but she Should is I a little bit out yeah let's do that okay. teamwork all right. And that, so you guys probably already know, you're also a host of your own show. I am. I host um, a plant-based food and travel adventure show called The Road Less Eaten. And we shot a two-episode, it's called a pilot, so like the kind of, this is what the show would look like. We shot in Israel and Ireland, had oh. an amazing time, and honestly, as much as I travel on my own, I was still surprised at how many options there were in, in Ireland especially it was just vegan options like, yeah the, I mean there were the movement when we were there was only about two years old and there's already such a vibrant community there and the the restaurateurs were so amazing because they you know there's this restaurant here and this restaurant here and rather than the competition you know we're gonna take your customers right they would share trade secrets with each other and support each other's openings and there's such a strong community there. It was yeah, so beautiful awesome. and delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I had Irish, like traditional Irish breakfast a bunch of times. Like uh, it was. How long were you there? Uh, let's see, I think we were, we were in both about five to seven days, Israel five to seven days, and then Ireland about five to okay. seven days. And I'm going back. <laughs> Why did you choose over. those countries? Well, it wasn't up to me. It was actually um, the creator of the show, okay. Bobby. Um, he, he chose, we wanted to showcase, or he wanted to showcase two very different cultures to kind of show like you can really go anywhere and be interested in experiencing any culture and still be able to choose you know green conscious plant-based options and and still experience the culture through the food which we definitely did a lot yeah. <laughs> oh, sounds good i would have loved to tag along on that one well hopefully we'll get to make more we're kind of looking for the right brand partners and producing partners to keep it going okay. we're um, meeting with a lot of networks and things like that um, to kind of find the right thing for it. But hopefully we'll be uh, we'll be coming to your home soon. <laughs> <laughs> be on the lookout. Yeah, and the road less down. eaten. <laughs> and it's road less eaten and it's plant based. Hundred percent plant based. It's the only travel show with a zero carbon footprint because obviously when you're only eating plants and not animal products, your carbon footprint is like this. As opposed mm -hmm. to when you hop on a plane, it gets pretty big. So we balance it out that way. We obviously utilize a lot of you know green methodology and our production habits and things like that. Okay. But it's also the fact that it's plant-based right away. It just neutralizes so many of the carbon costs when you travel the world. So we're proud to say that. Nice. <laughs> Very much. So speaking yeah. of um, oh. the road less eaten. <laughs> oh. Okay. You know, tell me if the balance is right because we can always add more seasoning. But this, I love to throw it on pasta, like I said. Just like this? Oh, yeah. Just oh, this up. is it? Mm -hmm. It's that easy. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, hopefully it's good. Mm. 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 Needs a little more nutritional yeast. Okay. And garlic. Okay. That's what I would say. Like, um, I would probably throw in a good quarter cup of nutritional yeast if you're going to do that. Yeah. It really adds that. Have you ever had it on its own? Yeah, I did the other day, <laughs> finally. <laughs> well, this is a fun part, too. I can mix it in. Oh, really? Yeah. Does it, it melt? Mm-hmm. Yeah, anytime it's, it's around liquids and stuff, it'll just kind of feed mm. it in there. Because mm, it also gives... The bite was a little bit more cheesier, I could tell. Unless I saw it in my head. <laughs> you just want more. it to be... No, I failed you. I'll own that. I failed, <laughs> I failed you on live television. <laughs> no getting away from that. That's all right. The other thing, too, is this adds like a really nice yellow tint to it as well, which is really pretty. I come with sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> and you also, one more thing that we're going to share is that oh you have a, a web series. Is it a web series? So are you talking about Flip the Script? Yes. Yeah, so that's um, a gender parody comedy series that I wrote and created, and the first four episodes were produced in partnership with Women in Film, which is... Uh, Basically, I like to say the um, the OG of the gender parity movement, the, the first organization in the entertainment industry founded in 1973 that has been working towards gender parity, you know, closing the pay gap, equal treatment, getting, you know, sexual harassment out of the workplace, little things like that. Just little things. Little things, you know. Um, and they've been working really hard for a long time, and um, we made this little thing together. So you can check it out on YouTube, Facebook, just type in women in film, flip the script. And you'll see the first four episodes. We had amazing people like Rob Hubel, 
from um, A Fresh Christmas Brigade, we had Jeff Garland, Amy Landecker, Michaela Watkins, Blake Bell, I mean just amazing, amazing artists and creative people who are really united on the cause and, and hilarious. <laughs> and then you're going to shoot more? Um, ideally, yeah. It's, a, it's the same process when, you, when you're trying to shop around a project, you, you got to find the right partners to keep going. Right. So, but we will be, yes. Okay. We, have, we have a ton of scripts ready to go. We have a lot of people who want to do it with us. So, <laughs> Well, it sounds amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you're going to have your hands full if you're trying to do it all simultaneously. That's what I do. <laughs> okay, well, we'll try this new um, mix. And um, if people want to find you, follow you, increase that Instagram to 20,000. What? How can they find you? What's your handle? Well, it's really hard to remember. It's my name. <laughs> On all the things. All the things. Allie Eisman. Allie Eisman. Yes, so A L L Y I S E M A N. Easy. Yeah, and that's my website too. So if you want to see what work I'm doing, new interviews, stuff like that, AllieEisman.com. So Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and mm -hmm. your website. Yep. And then check out all the shows she's in. Mm -hmm. Check out the NCIS. You can get it on YouTube or um, well, on NCIS will be um, iTunes. Um, it'll still be airing on CBS for a long time, thankfully. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can you can download it on iTunes as well. And there's many ways you can see it. Please please check it out. Awesome. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you the next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.